Welcome back to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Ender's Island. Today is Saturday of the fifth week of Easter, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Fallier. Our Lexio Divina, our divine reading, is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 15, verses 18 through 21. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that, defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our scripture passage. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belonged to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. You know, in today's Gospel reading, my brothers and sisters, according to St. John, Jesus warns the disciples, that includes everyone who reads and follows Jesus, reads the scriptures and follows Jesus, that there is no guarantee that they will be loved in return for the love he asks them to afford others. If they hated such a loving person as Jesus so bitterly, His disciples cannot expect to be treated any differently, can we? And the reason they will be hated is because they will refuse to identify themselves with the values and priorities of the secular world. They will reject materialistic greed and competitiveness, the scramble for status and power, the hatred, anger, violence, and revenge which mark so many people's lives. You know, the most terrible thing to happen to Christians is for them to be loved by that world. It's a sign that they have become a part of it. No, Jesus says, I chose you out of the world. Once again, he reminds them that the servant is no greater than the master. If they persecute me, they will also persecute you. If they keep my word, they will also keep yours. That is, hardly at all. (laughs) Some of us may find it difficult to understand this. We feel that the church should be honored and respected. We can get upset when we hear ourselves or our leaders rubbished in the media. Or hear of Christians languishing in jail or suffering torture simply for living their faith, a life of love and compassion and forgiveness. But we are rightly proud of our martyrs And we are courageous witnesses. But there is a fate we often 
undergo in modern society, which is far worse, when we are simply ignored and go unnoticed altogether. Our local church may be filled every week, but what goes on there may have become completely irrelevant to the surrounding society, the community. It's as if we don't exist. It's also tragic when we find hate and division within our own community, which can be a major source of scandal to outsiders. And of course, all through the history of the church, there has been sinful behavior at all levels. We should not be surprised at that. But it is particularly reprehensible when it goes on behind a veneer of moral superiority. The whited sepulchers that Jesus speaks about. All of this compromises our witness to the love of God for his people everywhere. When any of these things happen, then we know we have really failed the gospel. Something to ponder today. As usual, after our closing prayer, we read this scripture passage again. Contemplate its message and concentrate on the thought that the Holy Spirit places in your heart. This can be, you know, either through a verse or even just a small word from this scripture passage. Then ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you. Maybe even more importantly, how you may spiritually grow in imitation of Jesus, fulfilling the will of our Heavenly Father. Let us complete our divine reading now with a closing prayer. Let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy. For even now as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in always. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. If you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, please click the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And click on the bell icon so that you don't miss the new meditations that come to you each and every day. And you know, you can help support our channel by sharing these links with others. Pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all. Have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Lexio Divina, a divine reading of God's sacred word. Pax et bonum omnibus. Peace and blessings to all. Shalom, shalom.